Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to do the anterolateral spinothalamic tract. So by the end of this lecture, you will be able to draw and label the anterolateral spinothalamic tract, compare and contrast the dorsal column medial meniscal tract and the anterolateral spinothalamic tract. You will be able to answer this scenario and other similar scenarios. This is your reading material, chapter 48, to guide in 13th edition. So when we talk about the anterolateral spinothalamic tract, Sensations carried by the anterolateral spinothalamic tract are pain, temperature, crude touch and pressure, tickle itch sensations, and sexual sensations. These are five sensations which are carried by the anterolateral spinothalamic tract. You can see in these sensations that they are from different categories. So you can see that there are wide modalities of sensations, not like the dorsal column medial meniscal system in which all the modalities, they belong to the class of mechano receptors. Which type of nerve fibers carry these sensations? If you remember, you have the A delta and the C fibers. And the receptors are three nerve endings. So this is the spinal cord which you are familiar with. Let's see the pathway. Receptors are three nerve endings. They are carried by the A delta and C fibers to the spinal cord. First order neuron is dorsal root ganglion. Then the fibers enter the spinal cord. Now, here is, the diff here is a different point as compared to the dorsal column medial meniscal system. The fibers enter into the spinal cord, into the gray matter, and synapse, fibers synapse in the dorsal horn of spinal cord. And this is the second order neuron. Then fibers decussate to the opposite side in the spinal cord. So decussation in the case of the anterolateral spinal thalamic tract is at the level of the spinal cord. Whereas in the dorsal column medial meniscus system, the decussation was at the level of medulla. Now the fibers will ascend in the anterolateral spinothalamic tract. So they will ascend in the anterior column as well as in the lateral column. They ascend to the, they pass through the medulla, pass through the pons, and pass through the midbrain. While passing through these structures, they give branches which synapse in the reticular formation of the brain stem and in the tactile area of the midbrain. Till they reach to the thalamus, the fibers reach to the thalamus. In the thalamus, the tactile fibers, they synapse in the ventro lateral nucleus of the thalamus, whereas the pain and temperature fibers, they synapse in the intralaminar nucleus of the thalamus. From there, fibers pass through the internal capsule to the brain. Now, the tactile fibers and some of the pain and temperature fibers, they pass to the somatosensory area one, two, and then somatosensory association area. However, many pain fibers, they pass to the basal regions of the brain and the hypothalamus as well. 